Hey there Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a bonus reading for those of you that supported your reading. I think it's a couple of you. Thank you for doing so, you get the bonus reading content. And also, this is kind of like a short messages on the energy in tarot that wants to come out and then more on the oracle as well. Um, I'm actually seeing the fish energy for you, so like goldfish. Um, in particularly the goldfish, not even a koi. Um, the goldfish, the lion head goldfish, um, that could be significant to some of you. Um, uh, just trying to tap into it. But really, that it's about change, flexibility, um, but it's about look, abundance and new beginnings. You know, it's about good luck, which is great, you know. Um, and in old times, the goldfish could be about granting wishes and making dreams come true. I mean, the koi fish as well is about, um, it's what the Chinese did, didn't they? So there's something about positive change, abundance, and it's a kindness, calmness uh, essence of the goldfish. You know, there's wealth, prosperity here, um, the spiritual and emotional balance. Some of you it could be around making a decision in some aspect of your life, but it's about taking that in a very calm approach. Let's get into your tower, into the energy. So that's the spirit animal coming through for you. If you're seeing this and you're not like seeing the seven to ten day reading, do check that out because it's timeless for whatever you see it, see it. Um, and these are also timeless cancer. And when you do subscribe, like, leave comments, share, it kind of helps tap into the energy and narrow it down, okay? Because obviously when I'm reading, it's cancer placement, sun, moon, rising, and all over the place. Why energy to tap into? Cancer placement, please, spirit. Do check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. And if you want private reading, energy healing, spiritual coaching, natal chart, life purpose, anything like that, the email's in the description box below. Look at your cards. One's come out, caring, connection, beautiful. But look at the two that needs to come out. Crown chakra. Thinking man, well they do, they, they go together, don't they? Let's kick into this and let's see what we've got. So caring connections is really about where you've also had a change in your caring connections, I feel, for some of you. And really it's about, the you know, the couple are in a tender embrace and the woman's holding the blossoms of love in her hand, which are the flowers. And it reveals caring connections usually between two people. But there's also a beginning or deepening of a kindred friendship as well, if it's not a relationship of a new love um, or of love. It can also signify a form of business partnership if needed. And um, be, look out, be on the lookout, Cancer, for these new connections, whether it's a friendship partnership of two or love, because it's here on the horizon. And I've, got, I've had that in your readings. Um, if you're already sort of in a connection, they become more intimate, purposeful at this present time. Notice the opportunities to forge that deeper bond. Um, and there could be a good karmic connection at hand, actually. If some of you are actually feeling like you're having a break in communication or parting ways, people, I'd say consider what healthy action needs to take place here with that, either to move on or to mend it. Um, as difficult as parting may be, it might often lead to a bigger and better things. But you need to also make plans, vent your feelings. Remember, with every ending is a new beginning at hand. And then we've got the, uh, the seventh chakra, which is the... Um, crown chakra so you're going to have a quite a bit of crown activations 
and you need to um you might feel that you need to crown ground yourself but there's going to be signs connections intuition inspiration from your angels here and the beautiful angel uriel is also called um the fire of god where you know there's this brilliant crystal on top of her head vibrating passion connection to divine if you can see it here all right and it brings you great power um be open and free flowing to have that channel of information the signs from your spirit guides like i said that the spirit animal of a goldfish is working with you um this could also be a great time to ensure that you meditate tap into your intuition and quieten your mind and listen as opposed to be in this energy um, it's a great time to be connected and even some of you if you're looking into your akashic records it's probably a good energy time supportive energy um, around you to do that to get the answers you seek and the blessings you deserve some of you could actually feel like your intuition is being blocked now if you wanted some energy healing i do do that but perhaps you feel opening up to the side of your life and perhaps it's just something that seems foreign unrealistic um or you're running away from an awakening which actually could turn into something beautiful and powerful so uh, once you're open to the incredible peace and power the spirit can bring um to your life nothing will be the same so that's there's a couple of you there some of you are very open and you need to listen to that and some of you might be trying to block it again now when i take that with the man and the crystal and the thinking man he's very thoughtful and reflective and pre representing the potential presence of a teacher that could be in coming into your life um it could be the goldfish spirit animal that i'm feeling you asking you to you know um, make decisions with calmness and kindness and just no prosperity abundance is around you and your dreams are around you um, it could also be a love interest that's coming your way or be a gemini and libra aquarius in the top placements um, but really you need to see um, if someone enters your life it could be to assist you in either spiritual mental emotional pursuits and it could be a good time to pay attention to anyone that could come in as an opportunity sent by the universe and also it could also mean that you need to learn a bit of discipline or technique um, in order to sort of change your life but i think a lot of you it's about getting out of your head if you're in a lot of mental energy um, some of you could be destined to become therapists or teachers or even work within the government sector something is blocking your way for some of you and um, it's time to break through and move in that direction so there's two elements some of you have that bit of a blockage and some of you are open and the opportunity and people are coming in so um, there's profound wisdom here and i'm going to give you an affirmation cancer and it's i'm willing to learn new things it's safe and comfortable for me to open up and to share and you're comfortable with all your emotions and i honor and express them in appropriate ways i feel peace okay so they're the affirmations that i feel are relevant to the cards we've just picked let's get you some angel messages cancer see what we get for you cancer please spirit three cards fell out so i'm just going to take them okay so we have rochelle as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart prosperity is coming in to you prosperity the goldfish and then beautiful look at this new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself allow your spiritual gifts to open through study prayer and meditation so cards are really reflecting the angel messages here okay and chantelle a new romance again this should probably be here 
new romance is imminent either a newcomer or with the reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love again it could be any form of a relationship okay it doesn't have to be love Chantel is looking very beautiful as well <laughs> so is Rochelle Rochelle's giving me Pocahontas vibes down here she's um really honoring herself and she's she's really in peace she's like i know it's coming i know the prosperity the abundance wealth is coming i know this goldfish is around me do i surround myself with people who lift me up okay let's just tap into this but i think it's really about the people who you surround yourselves with are they your tribe? Are they aspiring? Do they are they Debbie Downers? Are you able to express your potential, what you want to do, where you want to go, your thoughts, your feelings? Make sure you surround yourself with those people. Um, and if someone is not really aligned anymore for you, as much as sometimes it's painful when we've had someone in our lives for years, and I'm not necessarily talking about love only, we can just feel like it's difficult to let them go. But can you love them from a distance? Any more cards, Cancer? One more. I love this. I love that it's, it's brought in that vibrance. When was the last time I couldn't stop laughing and smiling? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, think back to a moment where you laughed so hard or a holiday or something that really brings you joy. And let's say you nearly peed your pants or you did. Feel that laughter within you. Make your cheeks hurt. Make your eyes water. Laughter is going to be healing. And it reminds us to take life less seriously. The goldfish flowing, flowing. And find the joy in the little things. So try and do something that's going to make you laugh more often. And that could even be making someone else laugh that in turn returns to you. Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, subscribe. And I'm going to see you in your next reading, beautiful souls. Take care and bye for now.